Number 18. What force does a trampoline have to apply to a 45 kilogram gymnast to accelerate her straight up at 7.5 meters per second squared? Note that the answer is independent of, of the velocity. Okay, fine. So first thing, uh, as in pretty much all uh, problems, especially uh, for force problems, free body diagram. All right, so draw a set of axes, X and Y. Now, uh, let's, partic- uh, let's take this particular point right there in the middle to be the, the gymnast. And what are the forces uh, acting on the gymnast? All right, there is actually going to be two forces, right? Why? Well, gravity's pulling right on the gymnast, okay? And the trampoline's going to be pushing her up. So if you think about it, the trampoline has to not only overcome the force of gravity pulling her down, but it also has to accelerate her then 7.5 meters per second squared. So this, the free body diagram here is an arrow straight down. That will, that will represent the weight of this uh, gymnast, right? So W is equal to mg. And then... The force pointing straight up will represent the force that the trampoline applies. Now, I'm not drawing this to scale, right? I mean, really, if I were to even attempt to, this arrow should be a lot bigger, okay? But this would then be the force of the trampoline, I'll call it. That I I don't know what that is. That's what the question's asking. So why don't we uh, set up now an equation? It's an equation in the y direction. So let's use our... uh, some of the force in the y direction is equal to MAY. So some of the forces right, in the y direction should be equal to MAY. So what are the forces in the y direction? Well, like I detailed on the left-hand side, there are two. The force of the trampoline, and that's positive because it's pointing up, and then the weight right, of the gymnast, that's negative okay, because it's pointing down. So instead of writing the W, I'm just going to write MG in here. Okay, they're the same thing. So that will equal M-A-Y. Okay, let's start plugging some stuff in. So the force of the trampoline, I don't know. The mass of the uh, gymnast, I do know. It's 45.0. Gravity is 9.81. Oh, well, it is in some books. This book, it's 80. I keep forgetting. The mass of the, um, again, same mass. It's still the uh, gymnast here. So it's 45.0 kilograms. And then multiplied by the applied acceleration that the object is experiencing or will experience 7.50. So now all it is is just calculating, right? So we get the force. So we get, sorry, the force of the trampoline is equal to 45 times 9.8. And that's 441 minus 441 is equal to 45 times 7.5. So that is then 337. Uh, 338, I got a round there. Okay, and then I add this on over, right? And doesn't that make sense? Isn't that what we were kind of saying before, that not only does the trampoline have to overcome the force of gravity, right? So that's why we're adding it to the... I mean, that's why the math is telling us to add it to the um, right side. It not only has to overcome gravity, but also has to then impart an acceleration uh, and and a net force on this gymnast. Okay, so the answer does sound fairly reasonable here. Okay, so we get 338 plus the 441, so this looks like it's going to be 779 newtons. And that is the force that the trampoline needs to apply. All right, so not too hard, pretty, fairly straightforward, easy peasy. What else is easy peasy? Hitting that subscribe button. That would be awesome if you could. I would thank you so very much. And um, yeah, I will see you in the next video. Until next time.